All right, welcome back everybody. So this week we're gonna be looking at the Axel Nobel um, Kincraft product. And interestingly enough, um, I had a, several friends that use this product and the Aqua Prime that they make is by far probably one of the best uh, water base primers on the market. I'm gonna be shooting some in a project uh, this coming weekend and so I'll have some feedback on that as well. Um, so without further ado, let's get into testing this. All right, as usual, we're going to start off with our chemical tests. We have denatured alcohol and we're going to let that flash and we will come back. Um, I'm pretty impressed by this one. As you can see, it marred the surface, but um, not that much. Honestly, this coating kind of reminds me of the CIC Centurion. It kind of has the same smell and same kind of look and feel um, as that one. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let's look at the lacquer thinner. All right, lacquer thinner, same thing. So we did kind of burnish the surface, but um, for a 1K, this is really, really, um, really, really good. All right, so let's take a look at the acetone. Okay, on the acetone, we are just glossing the surface. Um, you can't really see any burnish. So this coating is very highly um, chemical resistant. Um, I, I, I think this one is... Uh, Gonna kind of stand toe to toe with the CIC actually. All right, so I'm very impressed with the results there. We have the denatured alcohol, um, lacquer thinner, and then acetone just glossed it. All right, so let's take a look at the Mar resistance. All right, let's take a look at the Mar resistance. All right, uh, very, very mar resistant. Um, basically kind of denning the coating there. Um, yeah, mar resistance is uh, very, very nice on this product. Um, all right, let's take a look at the crosshatch adhesion. Crosshatch adhesion. Uh, very good there, so adhesion is great. Um, let me give you my final thoughts on this coating. All right, so what's my final thoughts? Well, I got to say that I'm really impressed with this coating. Uh, I was expecting kind of a Kim Aqua um, feel, but it's a step above. Um, and for a 1K, I think that it's up there with the CIC. And I've preached for a long time that I thought that the CIC was probably the most durable 1K on the market. But... We have found one that will hang with the CIC. Um, pricing wise, I think it's around $40 to $50 a gallon. Um, it's a lot more readily available than some of the other coatings. Um, a couple of the drawbacks to it is, I've talked to some guys that shoot this quite a bit and they do reduce it with water, which I find interesting because it's already kind of a thin coating and atomizes really well. Now I noticed on verticals it was a little funny. It kind of came out, um, I call it cottage cheesy, but uh, you can't really see it on camera, but it could be it could be better. But it looks and you know feels pretty nice. Now is it nice as the European coatings we've been looking at as far as look and feel? No, um, but it is a great alternative if you have access to it and you don't have access to the European coatings that we've been looking at. All right, so I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell button if you would like weekly notifications. You can follow me on Instagram at Eric Reason, Facebook at Eric Reason, TikTok at Eric Reason, and here on YouTube at Eric Reason. So anyway, we'll catch you next week. And remember, tests don't guess.